First of all, I want to thank every person that left a comment on that last video I uploaded. I don't ever intend to watch that video again. That was the whole purpose of making it, was just to get it out there. But I, I did read every comment that came in, as I do with all of my videos. I read every single thing that people send me. And I have to say, the, the support and the love that came from everybody out there just blew me away. Uh, you guys got me choked up reading those emails, I'll be honest with you. I looked at some of those and it was just, it was heartbreaking. I know a lot of other people have been through the same thing. And maybe in sharing it, it, it makes it a little bit easier. And I, I just, I felt so much better after I made that video, honestly. It really did help me. So uh, thank you so much for for watching it and thank you for your comments it means a lot to me and it just kind of takes me back to when we started this channel I had no idea it would turn into this I, I started uploading videos of the new house we were buying and then of course getting our puppy Roxy which we all seen what that's turned into but it's it's become bigger and than I could ever imagine and this community that's developed around it is something that I really cherish and I just want to thank you so much for that um, on to other things I've I've decided, you know, over the last couple of days, my dad wouldn't want me to sit around and be sad and mope about his passing. I don't want to remember him the last few days that I saw him in the hospital, and I don't want you to remember it either. Don't don't go back and watch that video again. I told my mom not to watch the video. I hope she doesn't, because it's it, it's just sad. And I'm gonna I'm gonna remember my dad for who he was, and I'm gonna become the person that he was over time. It's going to take a lot to build to that. So uh, what I decided to do today is I got into business mode. It's, it, things have to be taken care of and it's my job to do it. So that's what I am doing. So I made a lot of phone calls today and I got a lot of stuff taken care of. The first thing and the most important thing was my dad's cremation. Um, I, I, called, I called around to funeral homes. In fact, I think I'm going to make a video about uh, cremation and the costs and what you have to do and all the stuff with that because there really was no resource for me when I when when I was looking into it and I thought man it would be really great to have a video of someone that's been through it that's you know could, could tell me what to do and how it all works and I think I'm gonna make that video because as much as some of these videos that I make on this channel are just for entertainment purposes I, I like to actually be helpful sometimes and I think those are the videos that are the, sometimes the most important or the ones that can help other people. That's kind of, I feel like, what I'm called to do. So I'm going to make a video about that as, as, as morbid as it is, but I, I think there's people that out there out there that could be helped by it. So I'm going to make a video about that. I, I uh, The whole cremation thing, I got that all squared away. I called around. My dad, of course, he's he's as financially responsible as I am, as you, most of you probably know. So I, I called around. I got the best price for it. And uh, I went down and signed the paperwork today and took care of all that, um, which, uh, you know, it's not a fun thing to do, but I'm happy that it's taken care of and they did all the stuff that needed to be done. So my, my dad will be cremated tomorrow, most likely. Um, they, they returned his, his wedding ring to me, which I'm going to give back to my mom, and that was an important thing to, to everyone. Um, so after that, I, I did that first thing in the morning. I, I came home and I got on the phone. I started making phone calls. I called my dad's church. Uh, my dad got really into the church in the last couple years, and he wants to have a memorial service with them. So I left a message for the pastor, and I'm waiting to hear a call back from that because I'd like to have uh, all his friends from the church. I've had people tell me from the church what an impact my dad had there. He said that his best friend there, his name's Carl, said that you know people all around my dad, everyone that sat around my dad, just loved him. And I, I'd like to meet these people. I don't I don't really attend church or anything, but. Um, I'd, I'd like to talk to these people and just, you know, just meet the people that knew my dad uh, in, that, in that regard. And then my family is obviously going to be there. So I'd like to set that up. So I'm waiting to hear a call back from that. My next phone call, almost as important, was to call uh, Alert One, which is, uh, I'm sure you've heard of Life Alert. It's one of those things where you, if, if you fall, you can hit the thing on your on your uh, necklace and uh, they'll send 911. My mom is disabled and uh, there was an instance where she fell after my dad started doing chemo and she almost she almost died on the floor because her lungs were filling with fluid. So I do not want that happening again. So I made a phone call to them and I got that set up. I signed up for a year uh, service and they're going to be shipping the, the installation kit to my house and I'm going to set that up for my mom. So if God forbid something happens that she were to fall, she could hit 911 right away and they can come for her when I can't be there. So that's good. Um, the next call, uh, let's see, I have a whole list here actually. Uh, the next call was 
to a company that will hopefully get my mom set up with someone to be able to come in to take care of her at the house. Right now my aunt's doing all that work and I'd love to see her compensated for it. And I heard there's a program that people can, that are on disability can have uh, some, some family member come in and take care of them and also get paid. They just have to do an assessment and make sure you qualify financially and everything. So I'm hoping that goes through. That's gonna be a long process. They said that is like a 90 day thing. So I'm just gonna hopefully, uh, we, we can maintain the way we're doing things uh, for the time being and then after these 90 days uh, my mom can have somebody come in there on a regular basis or maybe a couple people just to kind of help her with it's just simple things like bathing um, cooking cleaning light household duties things like that so it's not like she needs a lot of care it's just I, I'd like to have somebody there to help out with that when I can because I just have so much going on here as you can see with my little man and everything else so got that squared away um, Another thing I had to call about, which you know really is is kind of heartbreaking, was my parents' cats. They have they have five cats um, that that uh, you know uh, my mom can't care for. When the people that are coming into the house, like my aunt right now and me, when I'm over there, you know, clean out the litter boxes, take care of all them. That's a big chore, and I, I don't feel like I can really put that onto somebody. So I called the SPCA. And uh, right now they they are overburdened with with pets. But I explained the situation with my dad uh, having cancer and he passed away. And he was the caretaker for my mom and the pets there. And they said that you know they, they can work something out with me. So I'm gonna try to figure that out. I mentioned about putting the cats on Craigslist, you know, to explain my story on there and see if someone would would want a cat or two or five. And uh, and she she recommended not doing that because they've had issues with people that have taken the cats in and not treated them right. So I really don't want that, but I don't want to see the cats get put down. And I obviously can't take in five cats. I had to fight to get Mellow Cat as an outside cat with Cody. So um, that that is something that I'm kind of working on still as well. And uh, I talked to a really nice girl there, and she she's working with me there. Um, other than that, I called uh, our bank, or my parents' bank, and I told them the situation, and I'm have, I have to go in there with a power of attorney letter so I can handle my mom's finances, so that's going to be something that I have to do this week. And uh, who else did I call? I, th I think that's it. I mean, it doesn't seem like a lot of places. I guess it's like five places, but it seemed to take about two hours of time to get through everything. In fact, the alert one, the first place that I called, that was about 30 minutes on the phone right there. But uh, that gives me peace of mind knowing that my mom's going to have that thing on her neck. So if something happens, she can call. So, uh, so from here, uh, I guess it's just kind of finalizing all this stuff. And... Uh, back to business you know business mode you, you 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 can't you can't be down forever you gotta keep pushing on and that's what i'm gonna do i i'm, I'm thank you for being patient with these videos we're gonna get back to the regular routine here i can't i can't keep you know bringing these people down um but you know this is my experience i'm going through and maybe if someone's watching this in the future again if, if i can be helpful to you i'd, I'd love to do that and uh i, I just want to thank you again for all the support and uh, just know that everything is, is going to be good and we're going to keep moving on.